things happened and th- things happen that don't make sense to you. Mm-hmm. Things happen that are totally left field that you'll be like, okay, if there is a God, how in the world could this ever have happened? Mm. And if that is the case, then that temptation is a temptation that you, uh, I personally needed to fight almost every day for a good couple of years to say. And then temptation is getting offended at God. Because if up until that point, I was fully convinced that this is God, <laughs> this is who he is, he's good, not just to me, he's good to humanity. In spite of the failures and the sufferings of the world, and because X, Y, and Z have happened to me, now do I throw that deep conviction that I have away? Mm. And throwing that away would actually mean the ground beneath me is, is going. <laughs> because before, I wasn't sure of my faith. And then it became the solid ground I stood on. Mm. And now in the face of temptation of getting offended at God and setting him aside, am I going to break down the very solid ground that he helped build underneath me. When you say getting offended by God, what do you mean? Do you mean like, mm-hmm. any gamba, you feel like mm-hmm. he hasn't done right by you? Or the, that I, he has done things which don't make sense to me. Okay. And he has not, like you're saying, not done right by me. But mm-hmm. again, by my very human standards standards and judgment. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a... It's a it's a fight because that line of thinking is very strong mm. and it can really draw you away from the very relationship that you prized mm. being the relationship. For me personally, it was my relationship with God mm. and I needed to fight day by day to ensure that when, that when those thoughts come to say, okay, you say God is fair and he's good, but X, Y, and Z have happened. Mm. Why have they happened? Mm. (laughs) Um, Is God really good? Mm. Because if he is good and he's all powerful and sovereign as you believe, it means that he would have, he allowed what happened to happen. Mm. He has allowed what has happening or keep keep on happening to happen. Mm. Um, So how do you, how do you love a God like that? How do you call him fair? How do you, um, Worship someone who you who isn't for you by my definition. How do you? Um, by submitting, <laughs> and 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 submitting. You know, they say people will say I trust God, right? <laughs> or people will say that I trust you, Elisha, as mm-hmm. the leader of this company, right. for example. Mm. But trust is only put to the test when trust. Or rather, you go through a situation where it becomes difficult to trust the very person or the thing that you've been trusting in. Mm. Um, and trust gets tested. Um, and I always, I, I've come to learn that trust is extreme sports. <laughs> it's extreme sports when it gets severely tested to the point where it's like, okay, if you say you trust God, it means you at some point will have to be okay with not understanding everything. Mm. And yeah, go ahead. 